So you've obviously had the opportunity of shooting with a 400 2.8 before, but this is the first time you've seen the new 800 millimeter and your first impressions are just really surprised about the size and the weight of this lens, right? Yeah, I was amazed by how lightweight it is. I was almost juggling people. <laughs> so we're at a BMX park here. You wouldn't normally necessarily use an 800 at a BMX park. Yeah, sure. And you know, now we will get really close to the riders, you know, to see their eyes, yeah. to see their emotions when they do these tricks. Uh, so I think that that's going to be quite cool. I'm really looking forward to it. It should be good. And I think we should get started. So I think if we just talk a little bit more about the 800 and the 400. So just talk to me about your experiences of the past day and what you think about the new 800. Do you think it's a little bit more usable because of how lightweight it is and how smaller it is compared to previous 800s? It definitely is. I, I see a lot of scenarios where I could bring it out now. Yeah. Uh, one is, for example, sailing and alpine skiing, where you know before I would hesitate to bring an 800 out because of the weight and the size. Uh, I would maybe have use the 600 with a converter, but now with 800 it's actually so easy to handheld yeah. and uh, it just makes a big difference. So you were talking to me earlier about how you really like using the 500 millimeter PF because of its size and weight, right? And I suppose this is a, a really good step just above that to give you that longer focal length. It is, and I mean, for us sports photographers, there's a lot of moments where we are not in charge of where we are in position in relative to the subject that we are shooting. Uh, Alpine is a really good example of it, you know, where you're really far away and sometimes you need to put on uh, a teleconverter like 1.4 or two, even 2.0, yeah. you know, to get that close to the subject. And I'm definitely going to bring the 800 up now. <laughs> yeah. So it's definitely more usable, right? It's something definitely. you might find in your camera bag now, whereas before it wasn't something you would normally take. As well, I mean, also now, you, because it's so light, I mean, you can actually bring, for example, the 400 and then you can bring this as well. Yeah. And I mean, I would never have considered that before. <laughs> Rather than just carrying one of them. No, yeah, and I mean, the, of course, I mean, the 400, that's going to be the main telephoto lens for sports photographers, especially now with a built-in converter. Yeah. I think, you know, for 90% of the sports that I cover, I'm going to use it. But for the rest of it, I mean, you need these uh, special to lenses, I would say. And I suppose that's going to allow you to, to be even more creative with the shots that you take, right? And think about the types of different shots you want to try and capture. Like we talked about earlier, with kind of ca capturing the emotion in people, just having the ability to switch to an 800, such an extreme focal length can be, can be really helpful. Uh, yeah, that's very true. And as we can see now, you can actually get the facial expressions of the athletes really, really close. And I think one of the things that sometimes is, is can be overlooked is that yes, the lens itself is lightweight, but it's also not necessarily to do with how much the lens weighs, it's where that weight is in the lens. And you were saying to me earlier that you really like the balance of this lens and it's not as front heavy as previous lenses, right? So it just makes it much easier when it comes to moving that around, panning, following subjects and so on. Yeah, and I mean, as I mentioned to you before as well, I don't need a monopod now with this, no. you know, it's, uh, it's really well balanced and quite easy to shoot with. Cool, well, I'm glad that you've enjoyed it. And I'm, I'm glad that you've been able to shoot with the 800 and obviously the 400 today. So it's, it, I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the shots that you're taking.